act and change. In 2020, Biden again demonstrated a troubling assumption that all African Americans would support him in lockstep. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Biden was forced to apologize. Later, the show's host appeared on MSNBC. Do you think there's a risk that not just Joe Biden, but the Democratic Party in general just takes for granted that, well, the black, the, you know, the black people are with us. We don't need to offer anything more. Do you worry that that is the attitude that Democrats are taking toward the black community? I mean, I, I know that's the attitude. At the start of Biden's career in Washington, Democrat Mississippi Senator James Eastland, who once called to abolish the Negro race, served as a mentor to young Senator Biden. Eastland and other Democrat segregationists offered to help Biden's re-elections throughout his career. Are you going to apologize? Think, guys, like, apologize for what? Biden's racial past has crept into his past campaigns for president, such as this moment from a 2007 Democratic presidential debate. Senator Biden, you and your campaign have had a number of occasions to correct or clarify things you've said relating to race including your remarks about Senator Obama being, quote, clean and articulate, your comment about Indians working at 7-Eleven. Do these gaps yeah. or understandings or however you characterize them indicate you are uncomfortable talking about race? I may have phrased those things wrongly, but when I talked about the Indian population, what I was making the point was they're building families. They're coming by businesses, 7-Elevens and Dunkin' Donuts and small shops, just like those Italian um, uh, uh, immigrants used to do. But no one who knows me in my state, no one who I've worked with in, my, in the United States Congress has ever wondered about my commitment to civil rights. Later, during the 2019 Democratic presidential debates, Senator Kamala Harris, now Biden's vice presidential running mate, called out his decision to deliver a glowing eulogy to Democratic Senator and former Ku Klux Klan member Robert Byrd. Robert C. Byrd elevated the Senate. Senator Byrd was an exalted cyclop, or high official in the Ku Klux Klan. Mm. He joined with Biden to oppose busing, a policy that sought to integrate public schools. It was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations mm. and career on mm -hmm. the segregation of race in this country. Got you. And it was not only that, yeah, but you don't give a shit. You also worked you with them you know, to oppose busing. He has no conscience. And, you know, there was and a little girl in California. And then he picked her because of race. Mm -hmm. Called her the second class. Yeah, the medical, look, her you don't even children. look at her. And she was you know, he's telling her every me. day. And that little girl was me. <laughs> it was the 1970s. And Biden joined with Senator Jesse Helms to oppose racial integration. During a hearing, Biden lamented, my children are going to grow up in a jungle, the jungle being a racial jungle. Senator Helms even welcomed Joe Biden to the ranks of the enlightened. I've asked him and have yet to hear him agree that busing that was court ordered and mandated in most places um, and in that era in which I was bused was necessary. And he has yet to agree that his position on this, which was to work with segregationists and oppose busing, was wrong, period.